Alright guys, welcome to RC Mojo. This time we're back on the Seagull Challenger. We've seen it all the way from a box of balsa. Today is the day we see it fly. Hopefully. <laughs> now, the engine, an old OS52 four-stroke. I've had it for a year and a half and I reckon it hasn't been run for quite a bit longer than that. It turns over nicely. We just need to get the fuel up to the engine. I'll cut it here to it running. Not sure what fuel it was running on, but with this 5% stuff, it was really lean. It's not now though, if anything, it's rich. That won't hurt though, other than the fuel consumption. First thing to do is some taxi testing. It'll let us get a feel of the engine pickup and give the airframe a good shake so we can check if anything's going to come loose. Right then, everything looks good. Time to try for flight. We're off, and only slightly out of focus. Only needed a couple of clicks of aileron trim. Looks like we built a straight airframe. Way. <laughs> Speaking of the ailerons, they're really sensitive. A bit tricky to keep it level without over controlling. We'll need to add a bit of expo there. The elevator's fine though, as is the rudder. Like it. Next, we have the first landing. Well, that was smooth. It handles really well on approach. It doesn't get too upset with the turbulence between the trees. Some bigger and heavier models have a bit of a time coming in at this field. I'm quite impressed. OK, I've had a tinker with the engine and added some expo. Let's go for a short takeoff and flight. Well, the landing was a bit hot, but you can't say it's short on power. Not bad for an old 52 that cost me 55 quid. That'll do from me. The video will continue with some fast flight, some slow flight, and some very, very low flight. <laughs> the final verdict will come after I spent some time tweaking the centre of gravity, but it's looking very promising. A lovely 40 size sport model. And not a bad kit too. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>